Hello everyone, and thank you for watching this short video. My name is Rebecca Gibbs, and I'm going to be talking about this month's theme, Nourish with Nutrition. There's a lot of information on the internet about food and nutrition, and it can be confusing and overwhelming to understand and know what to do and who to listen to. That's why this month we're providing you with information to help you break down commonly used nutrition terms, build a nutrient-dense snack, a recipe for pesto with a surprising twist, and some fun fun challenges to apply what you've learned and keep you motivated throughout the month. Going along with our year of celebration, this March we are joining the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics by celebrating National Nutrition Month and looking beyond the table at how nutrition can impact your health. National Nutrition Month is an annual celebration in March and is a nationwide campaign designed to invite everyone to learn about making informed food choices and develop healthful eating and physical activity habits. This year, the Academy is taking each week to focus on a different way to expand nutrition into more than just what's at the table. To kick things off, they'll be sharing how to stay nourished on a budget by planning ahead and working with what you already have. Some simple ways to do this are by turning your leftovers into a new meal, shopping in your freezer and pantry, and by making meal plans to help you stick to the grocery list when you go to the store. Next, they'll be highlighting the benefits of seeing a registered dietitian nutritionist when you need help. Not only can you work with experts who specialize in their field, but the information and advice given can be catered to fit your unique needs. Check with your insurance provider as many have started covering visits with a registered dietitian it may be as simple as getting a doctor referral. Week three focuses on the importance of eating a variety of foods from all food groups. Choosing a variety of colors and flavors not only keep things fresh, but also helps to ensure you're getting the full range of nutrients your body needs to function properly. Be sure to read our Ask the Expert article to learn how to pick nutrient dense foods and understand more about the basics of nutrition. Try picking a new fruit or vegetable to add to the mix next time you're at the store, or try that recipe that's been sitting in the back of your mind for a while now. Next time you go to a restaurant, switch up your meals or try somewhere new. Remember, a good goal is to eat a rainbow of fruit and vegetable colors throughout your day. Finally, week four reminds us to eat with the environment in mind by reducing waste and your carbon footprint. Rescue foods that don't meet aesthetic standards by shopping through misfit markets or imperfect foods. You could also try shopping at a local farmer's market or look for local produce at your grocery stores. And don't forget to take that list with you. Buy only what you need when you go, because remember, shopping in bulk is only a good deal if the food doesn't spoil before you have a chance to use it. Don't forget to store your food in reusable containers, take your fabric shopping bag with you, and refill that water bottle. Speaking of water bottles, this month's healthy habit extends the table into what you drink not only at meals, but also throughout the day. This month, make it a habit to increase your water consumption and reduce your consumption of sugary drinks. Try water infusions instead of juice, seltzer water instead of soda, or simply take a sip of water before and after reaching for your sugary beverage. Include family and friends in building this new habit and see what a big difference being hydrated can make in your life. Thanks again for joining me, and please reach out to us with any questions or feedback by emailing us at wellness at gbsbenefits.com.